Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to talk about one of the most useful panels in Illustrator, which is the appearance panel. I'm going to show you what you can do with appearance panel and some special effects that you can create. You can use appearance panel to edit uh, Illustrator effects and appearance attributes, which include fill color, stroke color, and uh, gradient colors, and all the options you can find under the, the effect menu on the overhead menu in Illustrator. So. I'm going to first show you where you can find the appearance panel. If you already have an object or let's say a layer or group selected, in this case, I don't have anything on my artboard, but if I'm just going to create a circle on my artboard and you will see the appearance panel here right under the properties panel and you will see fill, stroke, opacity and illustrator effects. So you can actually just click on the three dots here, which is the hidden menu and open appearance panel right away. Otherwise, you can also go to the overhead menu window. Appearance to open the appearance panel. So once you open the appearance panel, you will see all the appearance attributes of the object that is selected. For example, I just use, well, the default fill color white and black stroke color to create a circle and as you can see here it appears as a path the stroke is uh, filled with black and the stroke weight is one point if you want to edit it you can also click on the stroke option and you can increase the stroke weight or decrease the stroke weight or change the stroke color then you will see the fill color as well here is fill with white you can get rid of fill color here or you can change it to any other color then you will see the opacity option as well and if you click on that you can open the transparency panel and you can change the blending modes if you're not familiar with the blending modes i do have a video tutorial talking about how to use the blending modes in illustrator if you're interested you can find the link in the description below and yeah here you can change opacity as well so basically you're adjusting appearance. Another very cool thing that you can do here is uh, using the appearance panel is that you can apply multiple effects or multiple appearance attributes to the same object. So I'm going to show you a really cool example here um, with the strokes. For example, I already have a stroke here and if I want, I can add new stroke and I'm going to choose a different color and I'm going to increase create kind of effect like this it's pretty cool so yeah you can create an effect like this and if you just resize it move it around it's not going to um, get rid of the stroke however if you don't use the appearance panel um, when you create a circle you will only see one stroke and you can only change the color of that specific stroke then besides that you can also add effects to the object so for example, now I want to add maybe another fill color. Yeah, you can add a fill color. And if you want to move the fill underneath the stroke, you can drag the fill below the stroke like that, which is pretty cool. Then you can also add effects to the object by going to the effect menu. And let's say I want to add a drop shadow. Yeah, you can add a drop shadow from here as well. And oh, a cool thing is you can select individual, I mean, the parts that you want to add the drop shadow to. For example, I was selecting the whole object. For example, if you just want to add a drop shadow to, let's say this stroke, then you can select the stroke specifically and add a drop shadow effect. I know, and same thing, the appearance panel is super useful when you want to remove any illustrator effect. If you want to edit the effect, first of all, you can double click to edit the effect. If you want to remove an effect, simply click on the Delete Selected Item option on the Appearance panel and it's going to remove any Illustrator effect that was selected. Besides that, you can also use it to, let's say, add an offset path to fill color. I'm going to choose a fill color and then add another offset path. Yeah, so you can create something like this easily and it's going to be on the same object. So let's try to create something with only the strokes. Let's say I'm going to create a star with three points. As you can see, you can add new stroke, make it smaller, and then add another stroke. Select this one, add another stroke, make it bigger. If 
So yeah, eventually you can create like uh, this kind of layering effect of an object, which is pretty cool. Same thing, you can do the same with the text. As you can see here, it shows us a type or character. As you, if you select on the type, you can add a new fill color to orange. Then you can add a stroke color. If you want, you can add another stroke. A little bit bigger and add another stroke. To make special text effects like this. Besides that, you can also use the appearance panel to create highlight text. You can directly create a rectangle box behind the text, but here it's more convenient since you can edit, uh, I mean, the, the highlight area will change as you edit the text. So I'm going to show you a quick example here. If you don't know how to add text to Illustrator, I do have a tutorial showing you how to do so. You can find the link in the description below. Otherwise, just select the text tool and quickly click on your artwork to create, to add text. All right, I'm going to leave the Lauren Ipsum random text here. And I'm going to show you how to highlight text in Illustrator using the appearance panel. So go ahead and uh, select the text. Well, I'm going to switch to the selection tool, exiting it, and I'm going to go to the appearance panel type. And here you can add a new fill, which I'm going to change the color to green. And I'm going to drag the character right underneath the, the type option here. Select the fill color, click add new effect, convert to shape and choose rectangle and then change the extra width to, let's say two, which is the size of the highlight box. Well, if I move it here, you can see it kind of, and click OK. Then if you edit the text, for example, hey there, the highlight box is going to show as you edit the text. If you want to change the text color, you can change it directly from here. That's it, that's pretty cool, right? So yeah, there are a lot of effects or, um, appearance attribute that you can do here in the appearance panel and then whenever you want to get rid of the highlight box you can go ahead you simply just go back to type and select the rectangle and just delete it and uh, yeah you will have your text here then there are other effects you can apply here from the appearance panel so simply just um, select the object or text go to the effect menu and uh, yeah Kind of just edit it as you wish that's 3d let's say inflate you can do that here as well yeah if you want to learn more about the appearance panel where to find it or how to use it i do have a step-by-step -step guide on how to use the appearance panel or where to find the appearance panel in illustrator if you're interested you can find the link in the description below and if you want to learn more about illustrator basics i do have a beginner's course where you can learn everything about illustrator basics to more advanced stuff like um, logo design, typography design, and by the end of the course, I also talk about uh, some portfolio tips on how to create a portfolio to help you get a job as a beginner graphic designer.